All right, you guys know I uh, had an issue with the gas tank, and uh, I'm going to have to try to see if I can repair it. It's split, but I do have a spare. But uh, the other issue is uh, the engine wouldn't stay running. So um, I pulled the voltage regulator, and I put some connectors in there to measure the stator, which is what the two white wires go to. Um, then the center wire is actually the B plus wire that uh, eventually gets to the battery and charges it, but it also powers this fuel cutoff solenoid right here. And I checked the continuity between the B plus wire and the solenoid wire, and the continuity is good, and it's actually good all the way up through to the charging circuit so the wiring's good so i'm leaning towards the regulators bat so without being able to run the engine i've come up with a way to test it so we're going to try that out okay so uh this is my test setup i want to explain this first uh, i use this actually to test uh, uh solenoids and switches and other things that go on these garden tractors and it's a very simple setup what we have is a 28 volt center tapped transformer and i don't know if you can see that right there but that's what it is so what we have the uh, green wires coming out uh, we have approximately 28 volts across the two outside or if you go from the center to the one side it's about uh, 16 volts so I'm feeding that into a bridge rectifier the white the AC side goes in and then we get positive and negative coming out um, so basically that's that's what I use to test components over here on the regulator if you can see the terminals are marked AC B plus and AC um, the chassis would be ground so basically it works like a bridge but not quite uh, there's something else in there but for all intents and purposes if I put AC across the outside I should get DC on the uh, the, the regulated side so I'm going to show you what I'm actually getting stay tuned Okay, to verify my setup, I've got it powered up. We'll turn on the multimeter, make sure you guys can see it. Yeah, get you over there just a little bit. Okay, so I've got to set the AC. So we're going to go across the outside terminals and showing about 32 volts AC. But now I go from the center terminal over and I've got 16 volts AC. Okay, so now we're going to flip the meter to DC. And coming off the bridge rectifier, make sure you get the wires right, I've got 14.4 volts DC. Uh, very good for testing <coughs> lawnmower components. Uh, so now we'll go in and see what the regulator is doing. Okay, so I've got the regulator over here connected to the AC side, so I'm feeding it 16 volts AC. So we're going to flip the meter to DC mode. This connects to the chassis negative. This connects to the center pin, which is B plus, positive. And as you see, I'm getting a negative point negative two volts um, so that's feeding it 16 volts AC in so if I go ahead and uh, because it's there's no load on it I go ahead and feed it the 32 volts I get a negative three volt so I think my voltage regulator is shot that's why the uh, engine won't stay running so I think that pretty much confirms I'm going to have to order a new voltage regulator. So, thanks for watching.
Okay, so after reviewing my videos, I heard somebody screaming at me that um, the regulator requires 12 volts from the, the tractor battery to actually operate. So I went and got 12 volt battery. Uh, and uh, so right now, if I plug the regulator in, I get that negative 2 volts. Okay. So we'll unplug the uh, AC, which is simulating the uh, uh, stator. So now I'm going to add 12 volts to it. So I'm at 12.8 volts. Now I'm going to plug the regulator, the, the AC in. Regulator's good. Regulating at 15.9 volts. So I don't need a regulator. Well, I'm glad I went through this test. <laughs> Save me some money. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I think I've confirmed the regulator's good. So I got an issue somewhere else. It may be that fuel solenoid. So I'll have to del delve into that next. Uh, thanks for watching. All right. Uh, to wrap this video up, uh, I think uh, I got to get the fuel tank fixed. Uh, make sure I don't have any leaks. And then reinstall the voltage regulator. And I need to verify now when I turn the key on that I'm getting 12 volts to the center pin. Uh, because obviously without that, the regulator is not going to work. Um, so I get that far with it. Um, We'll see if it stays running. If not, I'll jumper the fuel solenoid directly to the battery and see if we can keep it running there so we can troubleshoot the uh, the charging circuit further. But I think that may be the problem now as I'm not getting 12 volts to the uh, regulator. Thanks for watching.